Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one is on Demeter, and I'm actually playing with the Saren Clan today, guys, so this should be a special one for you. Um, I did actually have a gameplay before this, which was on one of the maps, and that was with the clan as well. I went pretty much dominating on that. That was a 16 for nil. Unfortunately, when I did my flashback recording, I accidentally lost that video, guys, so I do apologise for that. But I do have this video for you, so I hope you're going to enjoy this anyway. Um, right, so basically, you can see me there just messing about with the leaderboards. I tend to do that when I'm kind of bored. Um, just while we're waiting to get in the game and stuff. You can see the burn cards that I've got pretty useless for this game type at the minute So yeah, obviously I don't recommend using these on the, unless you actually use these specific weapons Okay guys, so we're gonna get into the gameplay now. You can see I've actually used my first burn card um, This is exactly how I am going to get to death because Obviously, it's a it's not the best weapon to use. You're gonna see basically me shooting here, but how much spray? I wanted to use this weapon solely to do this, as you can see, taking out all of those grunts, there, getting all of those points straight away, straight off the bat, and there was a guy camping on the roof. Okay, so trust me, guys, this does get a lot better. You see me take out that human player there. That's J two three three two J. I'm not even going to bother saying that. Then I take out that guy on the roof. That guy's agents or something. This guy takes me out there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much two deaths already. Be advised. Titan ready in 30 seconds. I don't think the first one might have counted, to be honest with you. The reason being is because I was using the random burn card to start, so it was that early in the game that the kills usually don't count that early. It's just the grunt kills that do. Right, so you can see this guy camping in the little corner there, so I take him out. Give him several away as soon as he's shot then. Right, so now you're basically seeing me with my Titan open. You can see I never embarked in the Titan until now. I know this guy is camped in the same place, so I'm just going to try and pick him up with the Titan. And eventually, it does end up killing him. It's that J2 again. You can see I've currently been rodeoed and I'm going to take this guy straight off my back. And we take out yet another human player guys. Come on, let's do it. I know there was a pilot locking on elsewhere, this guy's protected a bit by his dorm shield. Not going to give him some easy shit. Um, by the way, I actually meant to say shots then. <laughs> um, you can see he's actually using the um, uh, triple threat I believe it's called. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce a few of those grenades back at him. I am not going to let... basically I'm not going to challenge this guy. Um, what you want to do is you want to stay as close as possible to them or you can just simply dodge that and it's pretty easy to take them out. So as you can see he's been taken out just there. I know I've got another titan that was attacking me as well. Trying to be a little bit sneaky and coming behind me there. You missed that shot, but at least I took some damage off him. Now what you want to do, because he's on full health, I don't want to challenge him too much. I'm going to get a few shots on him through his own smoke. That sort of worked to my advantage there. And we have another Titan. Freaking hell, how many Titans are going to be attacking me in one game? Right, so you can see I'm actually rodeoed at the moment. I get off. Wondering where he is. 
jump up here. My Titan's on low health, so I'm not going to bother jumping back into that Titan. I'm just going to help. I know the guy's around there, you can see him there. Pistol doesn't take him out, so what I'm going to do? Dodge all this from this Titan. Go into stealth mode. As I'm coming round. And that same guy who rodeoed me ends up in his own titan. So I end up straight on his titan at the moment. Now as I'm taking the damage off you can see him ejecting there so I'm going to eject myself. I'm actually glad in the wall. And we're going to take him out nice and easy. Yet again the same player. Uh, this video does end up a bit of troll on one particular player as well. And I'm going to try and take as much damage as I can off his titan to begin with. Because that will give me my titan a lot quicker. As you can see, there we go, I'm going to call my titan in. Just going to jump off him. I know this guy's probably going to be looking at his titan. And we take his titan out. There we go. See again, rodeo attack yet again. He jumps off, I can see exactly where he is. And we take him out again. Okay, back to embarking in the Titan as well. Whenever you do have a rodeo attack, guys, what you want to do is basically don't just jump in one direction. You want to jump nice and high, as high as you can get. That way you can get an aerial view of where he is because he's not going to be able to jump as high as you. you can see that guy camped in that same corner again. And uh, just got the unstoppable on the commentary. See a pilot actually trying to cheekily aim at me though. You can actually grab the pilot to pretty much rock it. Just fire it back at them as well. I do apologise for the little bit of lag spike on this one guys. Um, fortunately nothing I can really do about that. But yeah. And you saw me take out that same guy that I took out a million times already. You can see a human player there at the minute. This guy is dodgy as anything. Just doesn't want to die. <laughs> I actually thought that was a human player until I realised that somebody actually hacked a uh, Spectra. Taking out those Spectras and the Gunts for the points. Bearing in mind it is attrition guys so you do not want to ignore them. After I take that human player out, which just happens to be J2332J, yet again, I'm going to give my team a little bit of help here. And what you're going to see is Titan time. Now I've got a pilot that is basically being like a little ninja warrior. I can't seem to find him even though I am looking at the minimap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the frick away from this titan, I'm going to help to take this titan out. Sure I've not got much health but you know what, the more damage I can do to him the better but you can see he's pretty much taken out straight away. My titan is on ultra ultra low health now, despite me being in it for a century. One rodeo attack and it's gone basically. Let's see what we can do against this titan. Take off as much damage as I can get. I'm going to avoid him. I'm going to let these two put a bit more damage into it. And I'm going to reject. As I'm coming on the roof, I do need my satchel charges for the challenges. So I was trying to take this guy out as I jump down here, I get taken out unfortunately. Third player to him, good kill. Picking up some random attrition points there, and I get taken out in my backside there. Team game invite, that's actually from the clan. Alright, we got what we came for. 
Hopefully I'm gonna finish this game, guys. Well done, guys. The I and C are attempting to escape by drop ships, but I've marked their extraction point for you. Don't let them get away. Now this is one of the routes that I can use uh, while going to the interception point. Um, I find these pipes quite useful because a lot of titans they don't really look up here even though you are up here. So you can just nick yourself a few cheeky kills right at the end of the game as well. Get yourself some uh, more XP for you. As you can see, take that guy out before he even gets the chance to jump. See another guy climbing up. Take that guy out. So, in other words, guys, I've got a good aerial view. I do get taken out by this sniper over here who's not even going for the evacuation. So, that pretty much sucks. And it's a 14 to 5 gameplay, this one. But it's 96 point attrition, guys. And that's exactly how we got it. So, hope you learned something from this. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment.